Okay. Um, a lot of the things that you're presenting are very relevant for me as an entomologist as well. And some of the questions you posed that you sh we should start thinking about are part of what we're trying to do as well. So, um, just one question popped up. Um, when you were talking about the specifics of putting images on on the website, you talked about currently we actually someone has started to photograph our types for our website. And what I'm unaware of is are there any world standards as to how you take the images or anything goes and if they are i'd love to be aware of that and quickly send it to them so they can do it properly and um are there any platforms that are available to that provide such information on the specific steps and the measurements and stuff on how the the practical work of imaging as well as capturing the, mm -hmm. the information what what exactly are we going to put there so yeah I, w I would think there there are obviously it, it it will always differ a bit between different communities right uh, um, the botanical people they have their own standards obviously and then i think an insect or let's say invertebrate world i think um, people have started thinking about that quite a bit and um, i will talk a lot more about that. I'm not sure if it's tomorrow. No, it's not tomorrow. It's the day after tomorrow, I think, when I talk <coughs> about data capture and and imaging and those kind of things. Um, and there's yeah, there's tons of resources out there. And I think at the moment for our community, what works best is it's called iDigBio. <laughs> so it's I and then D and um, capital D I G and then a capital B Bio. And that essentially um, is an initiative. It's another project that got funded um, together with the ADBC projects that we're part of. And they're really responsible for facilitating communication between these different projects and not really only just the, the ADBC projects, but anyone who's involved in these kind of digitization things. So they're running a lot of workshops. They're running... Um, yeah, it's really workshops mostly. Um, some of them are online, so you can actually participate from anywhere around the world, so that's really cool. Mm -hmm. um, and they also have a lot of documentation on their website, so they have really good reference libraries to look into you know, imaging standards, and um, it's, it's really neat, actually. I, I have to admit, I never really looked at it very closely until I started preparing for, <laughs> for, this, for this course and I see my botanical counterparts <laughs> nodding their heads. <laughs> and it's, it's actually quite amazing what I've been putting on there over the last, I would say, last year and a half or so. And I, I give you some of the links and I, I compiled some of the PDFs and PowerPoints too. I can just load them on a stick at some point. I would like to find out do um, more of the botanist bit of your insects. Uh, that's <laughs> Sorry. interesting. But um, you, you mentioned something. <laughs> uh, you mentioned something about um, change or um, transfer of electronic file or information, especially when you are when you loan out specimens. Um, how different is that kind of electronic file as you give out your data based to another institution from your raw data that we are all being encouraged to put on the platform. How different is the, the format? Kind of file? Yeah, the file, yeah. what information is needed in that file, the chronic file, yeah. as compared to the real raw data? I think this is where, where John will probably um, come in because as long what we're all trying to do, I think, is um, adhere to Darwin core standards and then also include a certain number of core fields into any data file we're sharing. And as long as you have these you know, core columns, and you can think of it as an Excel spreadsheet, you, know, you can export from virtually any database, you can export things as tab delimited files, Excel spreadsheets, such, such, um, such things. As long as you stick to that you know, specific, or the, you know, at least a core number of columns, um, it's fairly easy actually to um, transfer data and to integrate them. Yeah. I'm, I'm not the, 
I'm not a special, the, the technical specialist who can do that. So I can say like it's easy because people tell me who know actually how to do it, it's easy, but it's, it's become fairly straightforward.